wake up the bike, I introduce my chip to the sensor. Currently, my front door is locked, as you can see. To gain access, I wake up my smart lock, introduce my NFC chip, and the door unlocks. My name is Russ Fox. I am 36 years old, and I am a body modification and body hacking practitioner in Vancouver, British Columbia. So I have a number of different implants. Um, as you can see, I have two implants on my forehead. These are silicone horns, and they are purely aesthetic. They don't serve any tech function, they're just for looks. I have an RFID and an NFC transponder implanted. These are small tech implants that are about the size of a large grade of rice. I use these to interact with different devices in my life. seals a safe inside and it's only accessed by my RFID implant. So the way to access the safe is to give it power from a hidden switch underneath. I introduce my RFID chip to the access controller right through the top of the table. Open the safe, slip hinge for the skirt, there's a solenoid pin, and the concealed drawer. This is the PCB that I designed with the component soldered in. And this is the solenoid pin that is triggered by the RFID tag. Um, I currently have silicone implants in my genitals. They are for sexual function and for aesthetics. I'm promoting body autonomy and people's rights to be who they want to be, look how they want to look, do what they want to do to their bodies, as long as it's not hurting other people. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Good. Okay, come on back. It is simply just um, an ex a self-expression. It's a way for me to, to show people that you can look however you want to look and that's okay. Me putting horns in my head and just being outgoing and wearing them well and wearing them proudly I think is very important to help break stereotypes. I definitely represent people's rights to, to be who they want to be and look how they want to look as an artist and as a supporter of body modification and transhumanism in general. Transhumanism is the belief or the theory that the human body at this point in time can only evolve with the use and the help of science and technology and I'm all for that. <laughs>